Okay, into replay numero uno. So, first of all, um, already a bad sign. I'm going first. Why is that a bad sign? Because I'm playing Ancient Gears. Ancient Gears are a really good OTK deck. However, they leave a lot to be desired going first. I cannot lie. So, let's, let's just start the replay. Okay, normal summon infinite track. Ancient Gear Wife into search. And Ancient Gear Box, search another card. Ancient Gear Frame. Nice. Then I exceed summon into Gigant X to search some more. And I search another infinite track. Then I turn my field spell ends. Now see, this is not a very good field. It's probably the best field I could have done, not knowing what deck I'm going up against. Because I don't want to summon any of my big boss monsters due to the fact that I... <laughs> due to the fact that I don't think I'll be able to... When did I... I don't even know, bro. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't remember having this. Uh, but yeah. One card I could have brought out is this. Ancient Gear Howitzer. Okay. So as you can see, he's running Dark Magician. Instantly gets Magic Circle. I don't have any hand traps, nor anything to negate any of his stuff, so he just does what he's doing, bro. <laughs> just does what he does. So yeah, activates Magician's Souls, summons a Dark Magician, and boom. Honestly, I thought he was going to target uh, Gear Giant, but it was a very smart move getting rid of Gear Town, because it has to be destroyed. For its effect to pop off. But it's a banish. So yeah. Now he goes into the Dark Magicians. Activate Soul Seven. He gets to draw a card by Dark Magician's effect. So yeah. Place that on top. Draw. Then activate Soul Seven. Draw again. The draw power with Dark Magicians is, in my opinion, kind of crazy. In my opinion, kind of crazy. And that's just their draw power, though. That's just their draw power. But yeah, as you can see, he has based Illusion of Chaos to add to Myus and return Illusion of Chaos. Goes into battle phase, attacks, and destroys my monster. However, now I definitely have the advantage because. Because. I have the Pharaoh's luck. I, I have the Pharaoh's luck. Look at this. Shining draw. I draw Power Bond. The best card to draw in this situation, mind you. The best card. He doesn't have anything to negate spell trap cards. And look at the card that I bring out. He's not going to read it either. He doesn't read it either. Yeah. Okay. He draws. Uses the effect. Cool. That's fine. Summons a Dark Magician. Okay. He draws a card, activates Eternal Soul. Targets that. Oh, why isn't it affected? Well, that's because he's unaffected by spell or trap effects. Your opponent cannot activate monster effects during the battle phase. Also, this card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. And as you can see, he flipped over a Magic Cylinder. Not gonna work. Boom. And I don't know if you noticed, but if he just didn't summon this Dark Magician, he would have had another turn to try and have a counter attack. But he's gone now. Okay, now into duel number two. Uh, this is quite the interesting duel. Not one of my favorites, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good in my opinion. 
So as you can see, as you can see, already I have a terrible hand. It's not looking very good. That being said, this time I am going second, so that's a huge, huge plus. Anyway, let's just get into the duel. Okay, so he, has, he sets one face down and then summons Lazy On, which is a really good representation for how I feel about this Time Lord deck. It's just very lazy in my opinion. You can run it and you can enjoy the deck. I I don't disprove it. This is just my opinion. Uh, but yeah. Pretty good opening turn, if you ask me. Once per draw, inflict a thousand. So yeah. During my draw phase, I'll take a thousand damage. And this is going to be a very, very burn heavy deck. I mean burn heavy duel, sorry, <laughs> sorry, burn heavy duel, that's what I meant to say. Uh, but yeah, just sit back, relax, and maybe get some some cold water, and you know, because it's going to be, it's going to be pretty hot, it's going to be pretty hot. Burn, I don't even know why he does that, but it's cool to me. Okay, I went into Howitzer during the main phase, you can inflict a thousand, however, in case you don't know what I just used, I use Ancient Gear Hunting Dog, when it's normal summoned, inflict 600 to the opponent, and I can once per turn fusion summon one Ancient Gear Fusion Monster from my extra deck, using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. So he's basically a polarization, which is sick, it's really cool. So yeah, since he decided to play Time Lords, which at the time I was sick and tired with a lot of the duels that were happening with me. Uh, so I decided to be petty and burn him back. And that's kind of what this duel is going to be. Whether I win or lose, you'll have to find out. Now I want you, you guys watching this video, to pay attention to this particular card. Pay attention to this particular card. Mitch on the Time Lord. Pay attention to that card and its name. But yeah. Uh, definitely the best Time Lord card, in my opinion. You just half your opponent's life points. It's just so much. It's just so much. Like, look how much he burns me for for nothing. Boom. I'm already below 4,000. Like, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. Already below half life points. Okay. I just burn, end. And that's kind of what my turns are going to be for a little bit. So. Enjoy. Yep. Summons another Michion. Halves. Then he ends after setting a card. Okay. Burn. Summon. I don't know what this card is. When your opponent summons a monster with a thousand or less attack is summoned, banish that monster. I'm assuming this is like a counter to tier limits, which interesting card, very, very interesting, but it's almost surprising that he wasted it on that, but oh well. Okay, another Michion. Yep, half my life once again. Now it's becoming very, very just almost annoying at this point. But as you can see, my life points are a very, very weird number. Another thousand ends. And hopefully he doesn't top deck another Time Lord. He doesn't. Nice. He just sets a card and ends. That's good for us. Now we can go in for the attacks and the burn damage. So as you can see, I normal summoned Ancient Gear Gadget. I declared trap cards that he can't cannot activate uh, if my monster attacks, which won't really matter, but yeah. So, what Ancient Gear Gadget does, 
If this card is normal or special summoned, I can t declare one type, monster, spell, or trap. And then this turn, if your monsters, if your monster attacks, your opponent cannot activate the selected type. Uh, the other part is a gadget specific effect, which I don't use, so don't worry about that. Okay, Statue of Anguish Pattern. He just summons it straight up. Oh, I didn't even say that I use power bonds. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I use my power bonds to special summon. Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. And what he does is, well, he's at 8,800 because of power bond. Because I can fusion summon one fusion monster from my edge deck using cards from my hand or field as fusion material. And it gains attack equal to its original defense equal to its original attack so its original attack gets doubled basically is what happens and but that being said it does have a drawback during the end phase i will take damage equal to that original attack so in other words i will take its original attack as a life point damage so if i didn't kill him this turn then I would have lost. Now, if you're wondering really quickly, I, I won't make this go on for long, why I didn't summon Chaos Ancient Gear Giant, because I had enough monsters. Uh, Ancient Gear Howitzer cannot be used as fusion material because it's unaffected. It's unaffected by other cards' effects, meaning you cannot use it as fusion material while it's on the field. So yeah. That's why I didn't summon my other monster. Continue. Yep. And he gives up because he realizes that he couldn't... Well, he targeted the wrong thing. Not only that, but... This card, when it gets destroyed, I can summon an Ancient Gear monster from my graveyard. Ignoring their summoning conditions as well. So yeah. That was a pretty decent duel. It got really close. I, I definitely got worried a lot. <laughs> okay, well, for the main cards for this deck. Psych! 